My name is Bernd Wille. I'm working for the Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems in Freiburg. There, I'm leading the group for smart grid operation and plan. Within this group, we also operate our new power hardware in the loop laboratory, the Digital Grid Lab. Within this work, I want today present the example on electric vehicle charging according to standard IC 62196. This standard defines requirements for conductive charging of electric vehicles and has several configurations. The Type 2 defines the plugs for the US market and the Type 2 for the plugs in the European. The example in the following is based on this standard. The model is made up in four logical parts, which are the public grid, the charging station, the cable and the electric vehicle. The public grid is made of the generic grid model and it can be controlled via SCADA, inputs and outputs. The charging station mainly consists of a contactor that controls the electricity flow to the electric vehicle. Beside this, we have infrastructure for measuring the resistor on the PP contact. This resistor encodes the maximum current capacity of the connected cable. The charging station also generates a PWM signal, which duty cycle defines the maximum current provided by the charging station. The cable connecting the electric vehicle consists of a contactor that emulates plugging and unplugging of the electric on the communication side, we have the contactor for CP and we have the PP contact, which contains the resistor encoding the current capacity of the cable. These are modeled uh, by the variable resistor elements from Typhoon. And finally, the electric vehicle has infrastructure to, to detect the voltage on the CP contact, the PWM signal, and evaluates the amplitude and the duty cycle by signal processing, and on the other side, detecting the resistor on the PP contact and all evaluation is done in signal processing and finally returning the maximum allowed current to be charged and this is given to the generic battery model which models the battery of the electric vehicle. The SCADA is also made up in the same local components as you saw in the schematic file, we have on the right the interface for the electricity grid, so we can edit the parameters of the external grid. But let's focus on the charging infrastructure. So we check in the cable section, here we can connect the electric vehicle to the charging infrastructure and let's do this and he can observe that the voltage of the C of the PWM signal the voltage VCP has dropped from 12 volt to 8.8 .8 volt this is registered on the charging station side and indicated by this LED and the same is done on the electric vehicle side So, on the cable, we can also set the maximum, we can define the type of the cable. 
So the default is we have a cross section of 1.5 square millimeters and this is detected by electric vehicle side by measuring the resistance on CP and this is 1.5 kilo ohm which indicates 16 amps maximum capacity. The same is done on the electric vehicle side. We see here the same measurement. So the maximum current from the cable side is 16 amps. Beside this, the charging station communicates the maximum current that it can deliver. So in this case, the duty cycle of the PWM signal is set to 50% and the measurement on the car side is detecting this. So the duty cycle is multiplied by 0 0.6. This indicates a maximum current of 30 amps. So finally we can charge the, max, the minimum of these two. So the maximum can be 16 amps. Let's change the cross section of the cable. So I'll put it to four to six square millimeters. This is indicated by resistor 120 ohm, which means a maximum current of 32 ampere. And well, this is detected on this side, on the car side as well. Now we are prepared on starting charging. I'll do this and we can observe this by a further drop in the amplitude of the PWM signal and this is indicated again by an LED that the car is charging. In the user interface of the car I can set now the maximum current. Let's put it to 30 amps, that is the maximum current we can charge or maximum and we see in the user interface the car is charging and it will last 50 minutes until the battery is fully charged. Let's assume the charging station gets signal from the outside, for example from the grid operator, it should reduce the charging power. Let's reduce it to and the station is doing this by the PWM signal, so let's reduce this, reduce it to 30%. Well, this is detected here on the electric vehicle side. This leads to a maximum current of 18.4 ampere. And you saw here our current has dropped to 18 ampere, which is the maximum allowed now and this re results in an extended charging time. Now it's about half an hour longer. Thank you for listening. If you have further questions, please check out our web web website of the Digital Grid Lab.